a man, a sick man, <laughs> his daughter, and his dog. Are you sick too, Abby? <laughs> She's like, don't make me move. She's got the dog cold. <laughs> She's got the dog cold. You heard of the man cold? Well, now you've seen the dog cold. Good morning guys. It's 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. We have been so lazy this this vacation. I don't know what's gonna happen Monday morning when we have to get up at 5.30 again. It's gonna be crazy. Anyway, I'm dressed today. Anyway, um, Sophia's up and she's feeling good. No fever, no sickness. No, just joking. She's not. Today's starting out exactly like yesterday. She's a low grade fever. She laid on the couch for a few minutes. Then she said, I have to go upstairs. And so we took her upstairs, Sam took her upstairs. So she's in my bed again and she is sleeping. She's sleeping until 11 o'clock. She got up at, what time did she get up? Eight. Eight, she got up at eight. She's been sleeping probably. She was up probably two and a half hours. So that's a good thing. But I remember, hey, what's happening Abby? I remember when Nick, the summer, and Nick got this flu, this kind of a flu. He got this flu when it was summer, just the, the summer before, just a few months before I got pregnant with Gabby. Anyway, he was 10, or just about, he was just, I don't know, nine and a half, somewhere between nine and a half and 10, and he literally was sick for 10 days. I took a few days off work, and then I thought, okay, you know, he's gonna be okay, and I went back to work, and I came home, I left him with his brothers, who were teenagers, and, um, I came home from work and I was like, "Where, where's Nick? And they said, oh, he's still in your bed. So I went upstairs and I said, did he eat or drink anything today? And they're like, I don't know, I don't think so. It was awful. Anyway, even after like a few days, he was still that drastically sick that I tried to feed him some Mr. Noodle soup and I gave it to him and he puked again. So um, the fact that she's not eating leads me to believe that she's just not ready to eat. I mean, he was this sick. I remember taking him to the doctor and saying, he's so sick, and them saying, he has the flu. Just go home and let him rest. So I know that she just has to go through it, and she always gets hit hard. Sam gets hit hard, and she gets hit hard. So we're in for the long haul, Sam. We're in for the long haul. We're in for the long haul. Remember when Nick had that flu, and he was so sick? Like for 10 days, he was that sick, remember? I'm sick too. <laughs> gosh you know how they have the man cold and the man is just sicker than everybody in the whole world well Sam has a totally different phenomenon than the man cold he has the wanna have a man cold syndrome if anybody in this house gets sick instantly he's sick too I, I guess that's called hypochondriac is that what it's called it's true he literally the second somebody complains of symptoms then he's like oh, I, I need to go to bed too I think I have it I, I'm sure you are hypochondriac that's what that is it is like he's not in bed I was coughing all night I'm okay. stuffed up he all does right. he has a tiny bit of a cold it's true but yeah well anyway I'm sure he's gonna get sick like what Sophia has because he does get all that kind of stuff tired 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 I wonder why could it be because Sophie was up every couple hours last night, or she was at least up three times. I'm just grateful that I can be home with her and just be able to stay with her. What's the matter, honey? I have to leave you. No. <laughs> you were sleeping. Hey, Chris. What? You were sleeping. No. Let's see, how's your head? Oh, yeah, you're hot. It's just low grade fever. I know how to work the thermometer so when I take your temperature I actually take your temperature I was editing the vlog and was laughing my head off at Sam yesterday trying to work the thermometer the guy is like a computer genius but he couldn't work the thermometer which is funny but I don't know anything about computers so I guess it all evens out God made us strong in all the ways we need to be strong right 
Anyway, last night, Sam opened that window over there and let some cold air blow through here and get rid of all this germs, but all the germs in this house, but she's still sick. Anyway, um, I'm just grateful. I am just grateful to be home and to be able to just sit up here for three days, literally, well, for two days so far. I've literally, literally been sitting in this spot beside her for hours upon hours, like at least 12 hours a day, but I'm happy to do it, so I'm happy to be with you, but I have to get something to eat. And I need to go shopping today. Do you think I sh could go out shopping just for like a short time to get some food? Mm -hmm. And I'll leave Gabby up here to keep you company? Mm -hmm. And Nick will be home? Do you think that could happen? I know, Nick was sick like this before. When he was a little boy. It's terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Here I sit, day three, only seven more days to go. You're probably gonna miss some school, maybe. You're probably gonna miss- It's New Year's Eve. <laughs> That's when it all went downhill for you, isn't it? <laughs> She's still stuck back on New Year's Eve when she got sick and she, <laughs> she couldn't participate, right? Yeah, tomorrow is Sunday and the next day is school. One hour later and this is what's happening, seriously. I thought it was bad yesterday when I couldn't leave my room because of all the sickness. Now this is what's going on here. A man, a sick man, his daughter, and his dog. Are you sick too, Abby? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, don't make me move. She's got the dog cold. <laughs> She's got the dog cold. You heard of the man cold? Well, now you've seen the dog cold. <laughs> Gabby? He goes to sick. Gabby, how does it feel to be one of those people that never gets sick? <laughs> because I'm tough. She's tough. I'm tough. She's not going to get sick. She's got good good stuff going on in this body, right? <laughs> yeah. I like laying on that. Yeah, why? Comfiest spot. I like pushing him off. Come be a spot in the house. Mom, well, look, I'm pushing him off and I just started laying right here on him. It's crazy, they got the TV on. I swear the TV's been on, on in this house since New Year's. Since New Year's Eve and it has not been turned off and that's unusual for us. We don't usually watch it that much. This is why this girl doesn't get sick very often. I've got an omelet on the go. I've got some onions and green peppers and some ham I'm gonna pour on there. So yummy. God's food, you guys. This is yummy God's food. Anything that God gave me? Well, the ham is not really more man-made than God-made, but you know what I'm talking about. I got some cheese here that I'm grating. I'm going to put on top of it. Whoops. Hard to grate cheese with one hand. That's probably enough. I may not be the world's best cook, but I can whip up an omelet. Omelets are like the best food. You could live, literally live off an omelet. They're so good for you. Hey, um. <laughs> you like omelets? You're too sick to eat omelets. That's right. You're too sick to eat. Sophie hasn't eaten in three days. Yeah. You like ham? Yeah, she had a bite of a banana. Abby needs a blanket. And I hate bananas too. <laughs> yeah, you do hate bananas. Yeah. Abby and I are so full of energy and Sophie and Sam are sick, which is the way it always works in this family. I better go with my... Mm. Nothing looks better than that. I swear, this is the first time I've been outside for days. I'm just um, getting rid of some of this recycling. I've been putting it all in a bag and hanging it. Oops. Hanging it on the back of the door so that I don't have to come outside and freeze my butt off every five seconds. But anyway, I'm headed to go do um, our weekly grocery shopping. Sam's coming with me. I don't like to drive in the winter. I don't like to drive any time, but he's coming to drive me. Oh, the door's not unlocked yet. Oh, it just feels good to get out here and be in fresh air. One degree, apparently it's one degree out. It feels chilly, uh oh. It's four degrees at North Pole. Wow, Ford. Hey, I saw something on Facebook. It talked about Canada, things you might not know about Canada. Watch this. 
A little baby squirrel out there somewhere, I think. And they ran to the front. Oh, he ran to the front? Oh, so cold. I need my mitts. Anyway, um, Canada owns the North Pole. Did you know? Yes, I know that. Oh, I had no idea. But anyway, yeah, we own the North Pole. Oh, we got a newspaper on the front. Right on the yeah. ground. I guess we'll have to pick that up when we get back. And just like that, we're home. Poor Sam. He's miserable. Which pretty much means that I'm going to be miserable. Look at the ice, though. I don't know if you can see on the, whoa, it's like rock hard. You can't even hardly, you don't even fall through when you, it's all shiny and icy. It looks like a skating rink over there. You should probably bring Gabby out here and let her have some play time. Oh man, it just feels so good to be outside. I just, I don't want to go back in there. Sophie's like a, Sophie's like a drill sergeant. Can you give me a drink of this? Can you give me a drink of that? Can I have a bath? She's been having a bath two times a day. She just, and then when she gets in there, she doesn't want to get out. And I say, Sophie, are you ready to get out? She says, oh, it just feels so good. So then I feel bad and let her stay in there. All right, take a deep breath, hold your breath so you don't get any germs. <gasps> this might just be the quietest start to this new year. And you know what? Just like March, comes in like a lion, out like a lamb. We're having a rough start this year, 2016, but I bet you by the end of the year, we are gonna be having the best life ever. Anyway, I am, oh, heavy. Whipping up some miracle food. You guys know what miracle food is when you're sick? What is, what we eat anyway, is chicken noodle soup without the, without the noodles. So we just did do chicken broth and that is what I'm cooking. All right, what's happening here? Are you guys okay? Yeah. You okay? You're looking a little better. Aw, oh, kittens, they're watching the Boom Fu on Netflix. Yeah. Brought a candle up. I'm going to light this room up if I'm going to spend the rest no, of this afternoon. No, let me. Yeah, you do it. Uh oh. But you have to hold it like. Gabby finally got her hair. Oh my goodness. I've been lying. She actually got it brushed, but it's nodding up again. Okay. Hurry up. Come on, whip it up. Okay. It's scorching up here. I gotta go turn to down the heat. I bet your dad like turned that. up the heat because he's sick. Watch what you're doing. Don't watch the TV. Good job. Okay, blow it out. Blow hard. Good job. I have this stuff. Non-stress. No, stress relief stuff that I got for Christmas last year. I'm gonna fill it up with these Epsom salts. Can I? Yeah, sure. Epsom You're looking a little red still. But look, she's pulling herself up on the bed. That's new. She had a bath this morning, got her hair done. Go ahead, pour it in. They don't smell. I need to put some smelly stuff. I need to get some essential oils. Mmm. I have another bag of essential oils that I want us to... Oh dear. Uh oh. Oh, wait, not over my bed. I have oh, a feeling this, this is not going to go well. Okay. Good job. The reason I like Epsom salts to put in my bath is because it's super high in magnesium and everybody needs magnesium especially in the winter right so i'm just gonna put that all together i got another bottle that i got for christmas this year and it's called sleep so i don't know if people are trying to tell me that i'm stressed and i need more sleep this is lavender and vanilla this is just um bath salts is bath salts and epsom salts no it's not bath salts it's bath. I don't know what it is, but anyway, I don't know if people are trying to tell me that I need more sleep and that I need more uh, stress relief or not, but I've been using that in the tub for Sophia and I've been using it all year. But anyway, so um, I wanted to do that. I just want to take advantage of my, nobody ever flushes the toilet in this house. Seriously. I walk into the room and the toilet's full every single time. Now it's plugged. No joke, not one of them. Not one of them flushes the toilet. But anyway, okay, so that's done. 
We made that makeup. Does it actually smell? Put some on your lips. I can't smell it. Put some on your lips. Gabby, we haven't tried it since we made it. Oh, I tried that one. Put it on. Let me see it. I want to see the chocolate. Does it look chocolatey on your lips? Here's the vanilla. Mm, that looks good. And no. Yeah. Kyle and Kathleen stopped by. They're just getting over being sick. That coat looks really good on you. Did you get it at the mall? Join the dark side. Yeah, that's what you look like. Looks like a Star Wars character. Oh yeah, that looks chocolatey. Let's see. But you can feel the powder. Can you? That's why I don't like to buy that. Or that's why I don't like to use granule stuff. Mm. Yeah. It actually smells kind of. Oh. Ew. Ew, it's gross, you guys. It's like, what happened? Oh my gosh. Did you, did you smush? Did you smush one of uh, Sophie's Orbeez? Why do they do that? Well, they don't. What did you think was going to happen? I thought it was going to smush. I thought it was gel. It is gel. I think it's going to turn into shards of glass in my hand. Wow, look who's up and walking around. All right, I love you. Get better soon. Be nice. Let me down. Yeah, you feel sick? Got it. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. I'll be stuck. Kyle smushed one of your Orbeez. He didn't need to. We smushed a few. Lou Reed say swa. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye. See you later. Lou, say what? <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. One. This time, one. So, Sophie's up. Kyle and Kathleen came for a little visit, and then um, Sophie just came downstairs. She wanted to be a part of the group, and she's been mostly just hanging out here, having some broth. Has the soup, and it's been good. 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 Nine. Yeah, she's. My dad just turned upside down. She's been playing some apps on her iPad, and she's been feeling much better. Well, I'm up and at it. I ended up making some cookies, actually, peanut butter cookie. I don't know. I got this urge to eat something. So I made cookies. You ever get those cravings when you're sick? You get a craving to eat something or drink something, and everything tastes like garbage. So it wasn't really worth it. That's what happened. Tried to make these cookies, didn't taste like anything. Drink the water, it does taste like, well obviously water doesn't take any, taste like anything, but then made some tea. No, didn't do anything for me. So I'm, you can see my eyes are really bad. Been watering all day, I'm tired. And I'm gonna probably relax the rest of the evening. It's getting late, so I'm gonna end tonight's vlog. And we'll see you tomorrow.